If you have been looking for a video where someone shares a very realistic grocery budget for a family of six for an entire month that is budget friendly, but also very real with strategic shopping strategies, this might be the video for you. Sorry, something in my throat. <coughs> it's fine, I'm just choking. If you would like a video that kickstarts my method of shopping, it's gonna be this one right here where I take you through step by step how I approach grocery shopping, where I purchase sale items and clearance items in bulk previously and then reverse meal plan after that, which gives me number one, a great backlog of ingredients to pick from and number two, saves me money in the long run. So in the future, I have to buy a lot less. So if you love grocery hauls and you want me to touch all of the things as per standard YouTube grocery haul rules, give me one of these, <laughs> let's get shopping. Hello my friends, welcome to Fred Meyer. It is March 4th. It's a Saturday afternoon. I don't love to come to the store on Saturday afternoon, but I don't live very close to the store, so when I'm close by, I try and run on over. I'm in here because there are a few ad items that are a great price. I wanted to grab those and do a quick clearance look. The shelf-stable clearance. I don't see much here other than like shelf-stable dressing, uh, and I don't need any of this like pantry items so we're gonna skip this today and go check out this table in the bakery aisle and then our perishables we can grab that my local Kroger store has eggs for 339 a dozen for the cheap ones which means Walmart is now the cheapest in my area. Their dozen is 250 a dozen. I just checked this morning. Are egg prices going down where you are? I hope so because that whole eggs for $5 a dozen, that was insane bill. Finding clearance beef. 476 for this like natural, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I got 392 for this ground chuck right here. Normally eight dollars. I'm not buying them today because I have plenty of ground beef. I don't need these. This one's always tempting to me, although I've seen better prices before, is these like burger patties. These are delicious. Seven dollars, normally eleven. This is all I picked up at Fred Meyer today. So let's add $2.38 to my total. The asparagus I wanted to get, they did not have, as well as the frozen vegetables. So this is all we got today. Did leave all the clearance proteins I found because I don't need any of those. Very, very small haul. It's March 4th and I wanted to share with you uh, some bread that I purchased today. I found in my junk drawer. Oh, it's right here. This uh, Great Harvest coupon buy one get one loaf free i have two of them so i have two of the honey white bread these two were seven dollars they didn't have two of the whole wheat so i got one of the cinnamon oh my gosh and one of the honey whole wheat this was the last one they had today that was eight dollars so let's add fifteen dollars to my total which does seem like a lot for bread, right? I usually spend much less than this, but this is really good bread. And in case you didn't know, you can freeze these also. In fact, like really beautiful bakery bread like this freezes excellent. And for $7.50, I purchased six boxes of cereal from the Dollar Tree as well. One Fruity Lucky Charms and five of the chocolate peanut butter. March 7th and $25.85 at Walmart, these items are for a discount like dinner video, which you will have already seen. It's the $5 dinner video, I'll leave it down below. Everything else I needed for this video, I already had. And then over here, I did pay $12.60 
eggs. So excited that the price has come back down. I have my fingers crossed. It will continue to drop and go below $10. It's March 13th and it's snowing right now. At this point, it's, it's not even winter. It's harassment. That's what it is. I'm here at Walmart. I thought I would bring you with me to do today's grocery shop and haul. I didn't want to make it to the store, but there's a few issues. Numero uno, Waffle Wednesday is very successful at my house, which means we are blowing through syrup, flour. I posted a whole reel on Instagram if you haven't seen that. I do have an Instagram where I post stuff, Frugal Fit Mom 6 if you wanna go check that out. I thought it would be fun to try some different toppings, so I was gonna buy Nutella. I actually have a list for Sam's Club. I'm just not gonna make it down there before this Wednesday, <laughs> because today is Monday the day I'm filming this. Some random stuff, not a ton of food, but I thought I'd take you anyway because we're here, we're doing it, we're doing the thing. This is how I get video ideas sometimes. I just wander over like displays and then I end up with the video. I'm gonna get this big log cabin for $6.98 for Waffle Wednesday. And I do need a large container of flour. I don't see what this one costs, but my local store um, on the way home is only, I think it's seven or eight dollars for the 25 pounds. Let me try with my app and see what this costs right here. This 25 pound bag is $8.98. I'm going to go ahead and get it so I don't have to make another sauce. Today at Walmart, we ended up doing $59.54, but $2 of that is ibuprofen because we were all out. Plus the diapers were nine or $10, the dog diapers. But something like this, this is $13, but I'm not gonna have to buy this for a year. This most likely would have been cheaper at Sam's, but I was 100% out. So I'm at $47.54 for food and another 12 for like household and pet for right now. So let's add that to the total and that's gonna be it for my grocery shopping for March 13th. That will be the end of my grocery shopping for March 13th. Thir Why can't I say that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's all of my grocery shopping for today, March 13th. I'll see you next time I go out. Today is March 16th and I wanted to show you kind of a general dinner that we might put together based on what we already have and also wanted to show you how long things can last in the refrigerator, which might shock you a little bit. So first of all, I got out some chicken thighs to thaw. Well, I'll just bake these in the oven. I am working through my canned goods in my downstairs. So I have two cans of cut green beans. If you are team canned green beans, go ahead and give me a raised hand in the comments. I love them. So I wanted to show you these fresh products. I got these in my Misfits Market Box in February. It's the middle of March. Now the cauliflower has a few brown spots like this, but once I cut off these little pieces right here, I can steam this or roast this in the oven and we'll make some semblance of like a little green salad. Misfit Market killing it with the long-term produce. I seriously forgot to look in my outside fridge and I found all of these vegetables that are still good. So believe it or not, things can last in your refrigerator for a very, very long time without going bad. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Are you seeing this big coat? I'm gonna do this too, because it's freaking snowing at the end of March. Here's the dealio. Haley and I are doing a mother-daughter weekend in Vegas for her like, one of her graduation presents is a mother-daughter trip to Vegas. It's this weekend, therefore, we are doing the last grocery shopping trip for March right now. I gotta stock up all my boys so they can take care of themselves while Haley and I are gone and get us through the remainder of March. I picked up this all out of pad from Amazon. I'll link it below if you wanna go check it out. We're just gonna take that right off. This is my list for today. This goes back, it's magnetic, goes back on the fridge. So I suspect we're gonna have quite the shop today. I'm gonna bring you along with me. Yes, in the snow, in my coat. I feel like a moron. It's almost April. I can't even believe I'm wearing this. It's not like I'm at Everest base camp, but then again, might as well be. We are here at the first stop. I'm hitting up the bread outlet. My family loves bagels. They're excellent for like egg sandwiches, quick breakfast. My kids love doing deli sandwiches with them as well. They don't love cameras in here, so if I record anything, it's gonna be with my phone. Stealth style. We are here at Fred Meyer. It's not too far away from, where did I just come from? The bread outlet. 
So we're running in here just to find the deals for the week it is about 11 o'clock. I get asked a lot of the time what time of day I come here. 11 o'clock is what time I am here right now. Okay, here at Fred Meyer, I'm seeing a ton of bread clearance, a ton. From 96 cents a loaf right here to $1.20 a loaf right here, all the way up to 242 for the organic, uh, like 20 grain and seed. There's probably 20 loaves of bread right here. Uh, there's also bagels right here for about two bucks. They have my favorite clearance non. It is $1.72. $1.72 in the cart. I'm making pizzas later. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm buying all these. Pizza on the menu. They literally make the best homemade pizza. The best. If you haven't tried it, try it. There's quite a few clearance frozen products today, but a lot of them are plant-based. I don't eat plant-based and then single serve frozen meals, which are two and three dollars each, which is good if you normally buy that kind of stuff, but I'm trying to stick towards more meal prepped items. So I will be skipping those today and I'm gonna move on over to the meat section. Okay, hopefully you can hear me, it's loud over here. These seasoned chickens are normally 14 on sale for 11. These are clearanced out for 360. I'm very tempted to get a few of these to make an easy dinner, I'm thinking about it. And then I also have some Kansas style city barbecue over here. If you eat plant-based, I always see these brands on sale. Like there's a ton of these on clearance today, a ton. So I'm guessing they're not super popular, at least not in my area. I have successfully made it out of the meat section onto produce. I'm trying to determine if I get the fresh cut of pizzas which are on sale this week or not. I keep going back and forth. I am here at Winco. I have not been to Winco in forever. I, I think it's been over a year. And I'm trying to remember why. Like they don't take credit cards. You have to have either cash or a debit card or check, I guess. But they always have some good produce deals. And since I'm in the mood to hunt for produce, and it's literally across the street from the salvage grocery store where I'm gonna go look for crackers. We're just gonna go in and see what we can find. Maybe I'll find crackers here for a good price and I'll skip the other store. I think I remember why I don't like coming in here. They make you walk down the aisle of temptation when you first walk in. It's all the yummy Chipotle sauce. Asparagus, cheaper here than at Fred Meyer. Wah, wah. But I already got it, so whatevs. Uh, I'm gonna get some onions. Three pounds for $1.20, it's real good. Uh, I did get a better price at Fred Meyer on the oranges, which was cool. Here, they have a great deal on the cuties. So I got cuties, because Andrew requested that. That was on the list. Uh, they do have great deals on like cucumbers and carrots and stuff. So I'm gonna go for there now. My kids asked for salted peanuts uh, for one of their snacks for sports. So I'm looking at $2.25 here for the roasted salted and $1.97 for the dry roasted. I'm not sure which one I want, but like these have to be cheaper than Sam's Club, right? Uh, because I'm putting them in a bag, but look at this. Butter toffee coconut peanuts. Oh man, I forgot how much I love the book section. Such a place to find deals. My friends, I forgot how much money you can save at Winco. She's checking me out and I was like, wow, I have a big pile of stuff here with like some crackers and some nuts and like, I don't know, you know. Um, I spent a little bit on some like huge containers of frozen vegetables. It was so cheap. That was amazing. So I got the green grapes. Here's my concern. I know the green grapes from Costco taste the best. I got the ones here. I kind of also want to get the green grapes at Costco to do a taste comparison. Like, is it worth it to pay a little bit extra at Costco to get a better produce item? I think most of you would agree, yes. I'm right next to Sam's Club, so I'm gonna go there. First, Costco's like 
like on the way home. So I'm gonna go to Sam's Club. Maybe I can knock out the rest of this list. I just have a few more items. I'm curious to know if the string cheese at Sam's Club is cheaper than the string cheese at Winco. I took a picture and we're gonna compare. We're gonna compare the price because I'm not sure. Okay, before I go to Sam's Club, which is down the street, I'm going to go to the salvage grocery store, which is across the street. Like I got to cross that street and it's right there. I also know it feels like I'm like driving from store to store a lot. If you have the time, this is the best way to save money is shop at more than one store, but I'm not wasting time. Like I'm very strategic. I knew I was going to get bread at the bread outlet. I knew I was gonna go to Fred Meyer and get the strawberries and the asparagus. So you can like zip in, zip out, and then be done. I'm not gonna be wandering like the clothing section or the electronics section. I'm just gonna like get my things and skedaddle. Sometimes, like, should we just stop? Sometimes we should just stop. Cinnamon sugar crispies, have you tried these? Are you kidding me? Wendy's Frosty. You're eating dessert for breakfast. Look at this. What a deal. This is 59 cents here. 79 cents. Oh, those are good. Edamame fettuccine. Is that any good? Oh, look how many. Oh my gosh, look how many I just found. That's amazing. Oh yum. Baking truffles. What? Uh, we need to buy these, I think. How cheap can you find Lily's chocolate? $1.59. Oh my gosh, this is such a good price. October 2023. Okay, I don't know what happened, but I have a full cart. That was not the plan. I have a sickness. Hi, my name is Christine. And when I see good deals, I have to buy them. It's been 10 minutes since my last purchase. Oh my gosh, we're home. Let's go over everything I got, how much it costs, let's add it to the total and then put it away. Remember, this is two weeks worth of grocery shopping and honestly, on some of these items, a little bit longer, maybe a month or so. Bread outlet, here we go. I don't know that I'm gonna touch everything today though. I don't know. This was $16 total for all of these bread items. He rang it up kind of wrong. And I was like, oh, this was actually from this rack over here and, and not this rack over here. He's like, oh, just take a couple of extra things off of the free rack. So we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loaves of bread, one huge guy of hamburger buns. So hamburgers are obviously on the menu now, the mini bagels. I went with these because they didn't have any other flavors other than the everything bagel and not everyone in my family likes that one. Everyone likes this one, Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer is sitting at $77.55. Let's go over everything real quick. I have my five cheeses. These were $1.29 each. A couple of clearance meats, some chicken sausage, the two of these chili lime with cilantro chickens. I'm just gonna cook these up tonight and meal prep for lunches for the next few days. Four of these non whole grains for $1.72. I was out of sour cream, so $2.65 for three pounds of sour cream. Oh, wow. The milk, good all the way into April, hopefully. Eight pounds of navel oranges for a little over $4. Three pounds of strawberries at $2 a pound. Three bunches of asparagus, that was also on sale. One Caesar salad kit. Two heads of cauliflower. I was planning on just cutting this up raw for snacks. I, I like to just dip this in ranch and eat it raw. Do you guys think that's weird? Do you like it also? Let me know down below. And coming over here, my kids were adamant that we had everything for deli sandwiches. All of these were on sale and I love getting this kind because usually it's the boar's head deli meat, which is delicious. Okay, so I have some pepper jack cheese up here, smoked ham, rotisserie chicken. This one's pastrami, yum, and smoked turkey right here. Actually, that was, that was probably the bulk of the cost <laughs> right here, the deli meats and cheeses. Let's move on over to Winco. I need to shop at Winco way more often. This whole stack over here was $57.13. If you have a Winco in your area and you haven't checked it out, 
you need to go. I, I really think that you will be shocked at how much money you can save. I'm pretty sure there's Winco's in California. I have one, there's some in Utah. I, I think the Dallas area has a few. I'm not sure where all of them are, but if you have a Winco, they don't take credit cards. So you gotta have like cash or a debit card. But the savings, I am telling you. Here's what I picked up. Two bags of mandarins, some avocados. These were hard as a rock. So I did also get some from Sam's Club. Cukes, 50 cents each. Two cabbages, these grapes, cause they were pretty cheap. They, you actually can't tell on camera. They look a little like on the edge of good. We'll see. Two pound bags of carrots, 98 cents each. The red bell peppers was a screaming deal, 68 cents a pepper, I got six. Some frozen green beans, frozen broccoli, two regular cream cheeses, two reduced fat cream cheeses, two of their brand of wheat thins. My kids were asking for crackers to like a sturdy cracker so they can make homemade Lunchables. Coming over here, oyster crackers, these will last forever. I mean, not forever, but you know, months. And three types of peanuts, the salted, the honey roasted, and then the butter toffee coconut. Here's what I did learn though. Price per ounce, Sam's Club would have had the cheapest salted peanuts. Just the salted peanuts, nothing else. Sam's Club wins that race like hands down. It was really close to Winco's price. I was surprised that Sam's was cheaper with like the hard plastic container and this one doesn't have one. So I'm gonna have to provide probably a jar or something. And both of them kicked the pants off of Costco's price, which was discount store here, 58, 56. Two guys of cereal, $5 here, $5 here. These are the big like Costco ones. Look at all of these pumpkin spices, 79 cents each. Anytime I see a Krusty's mix, I try and grab it. You can make a pumpkin cake. You can make quick bread. Check this out. I found PB2 for two bucks. So I got two of those, two of the Krusty's like easy pizza dough, a honey cornbread, a snickerdoodle mix. These are all 79 cents each, these as well. These are 59 cents each, bite-sized filled baking truffles. It was an obvious. I feel like this is a really expensive brand, 79 cents. Anytime I see the lentils on sale, I have to get them. These are some of my favorite things. $8 in Costco today. This was on like instant savings for 10. So I even saved over the instant savings for eight. That's basically a dollar a pouch. I am here for it. I got two of them. I've never had this one, Korean beef bone broth, bo bone soup broth, whatever. $8. There are eight pouches in this container. Look at this guy five bucks. At my Costco, this was $15. I paid five. So that that's like a really nice treat for my kids. I rarely buy things like this. This is one of those things where like, I kind of stock up on some pantry staples. Over here, we have Sam's Club. Before I jump into this, let's do the non-food items. Non-food items. I did get more finish, uh, Jet Dry Rinse Aid. It was on sale today for seven doll hairs. Oh, perfect, because look, this is my old one. I'm like, I have one guy left, so I have a full backup. I love to get these when they're on sale. The dog food at Sam's Club was $43, so pet care, let's add $43. Sam's Club cost $123. Let's check it out. I love almond milk because it lasts for so long. This is one of my favorite ones. I like it way better than the Costco brand. Way, way better. String cheese. Sam's Club did have the cheapest price versus Winco and Sam's Club. Sam's Club won, I was surprised. One guy of oven roasted turkey breast. Huge box of tortilla chips because I didn't feel like running to Costco. A ton of lettuce. Two of the huge packages of the Romaine hearts. We're doing a ton of salad meal prep. The wheat thins were on sale, so I went ahead and got another box of these. These also last a very long time. Croutons, as per Haley's request. The peanut butter crackers for school lunches. Uh, a whole bunch of tomatoes. We got honey crisp apples. That's what Tyler wanted. Sweet potatoes for me. It was cheaper at Sam's than at Winco for the fresh broccoli like this. I was surprised by that. Three English cucumbers or, um, yeah, English cucumbers. I was right. The onions actually belong over at Winco. Ignore that. This, these onions belonged in the Winco hall. <laughs> Green grapes, so we can compare Winco grapes to Sam's Club grapes. Avocados. Two pounds of Brussels sprouts, one of our favorites, and applesauce. The total spent today on food only, $331.55. Let's 
Let's add that to our totals for the month, which brings my shopping for the month of March to a lot because this is a lot. <laughs> oh, I forgot to add a business one. I'm filming a Cinnamon Toast Crunch video and I spent $66.60. Weird, right? <laughs> at Walmart to purchase all the items. That's a business expense. Let's add that in. Okay, total right here. And to finish off today's video, let's uh, join me as we put everything away. Let me tell you about one of our challenges that we are working on right now, something Dave and I are both doing together. He started it. He's the instigator, the 600 or 800 gram challenge. Here's what it is. Basically, you try and eat 600 grams of fruits and vegetables every single day. That's like your number one goal. I also try and get a good amount of protein, at least 100 grams. Uh, for me, as a female, Dave does more than that. Point being, you're getting a lot of micronutrients, and filling your stomach up with really healthy products, a lot of vitamins, a lot of fiber, and a lot of water. We've both noticed some digestion improvements, overall feeling of, it's a weird word, weightlessness, lighterness. Some foods, you know, really, really processed foods feel heavy, right? And we don't feel heavy really anymore. So if you're interested in the challenge, the person who looked it up is named E.C. Sinkowski. She has a podcast about health and nutrition you might find interesting. I'll leave that information below. And I will see you in the next video.